Hi, so my name is James Bossman. I'm with iRobot. I manage uh, North American uh, PR for iRobot. And we're here at CES 2017, and I'd like to show you here a couple of our latest robots. Um, these are connected robots. This here is our 900 series. Uh, this is our Roomba 980. It was launched in September 2015. It was our first connected robot. <clears throat> As you can see here, that's, um, it's a little bit different look than some of the rumors that you may have seen in the past. Uh, one thing you'll notice right away is on the top we have a camera. And on the underneath, we have a little hole here, which is actually an optical uh, sensor. So what that is doing is it's um, actually navigating the home, an entire level of a home, up to 2,000 square feet using the uh, optical and the camera sensor and other uh, touch sensors as well. Then here we have the Roomba 960, which is probably our latest model that we've announced. It's uh, similar to the Roomba 980. Um, it's a slightly lower pr price point. Um, so the difference is really in the um, battery and the uh, motor. So this our Roomba 980, our top of line, has the Gen 3 motor. Um, and what that does, this Roomba here actually can detect the floor surface that it's on and adjust its power based on the floor type. So as it transitions from hard floor to carpet, it'll actually ramp up its power. As I said, these are connected robots. So another thing that's really cool about our new 900 series, um, we have our iRobot Home app, you can see here. So we've taken a lot of the functionality that was previously on board the robot and moved it to the app. So for example, here you can see we've got our scheduler, um, which is a, a familiar um, interface for uh, scheduling your alarm on your phone. And you can schedule up to seven days, or you could schedule seven days a week. Over here on this tab on the left are your cleaning preferences. So another thing that's great about our connected robots is now we can actually customize the cleaning. So you can see here, we've got an option to adjust uh, carpet boost. Oops, sorry, can you bring that back? Yep, Oops, I want the wrong one. So you can adjust your, your carpet boost. You can have it on automatic, which is the default, or you can um, have it on eco for a quieter clean, or um, you can have it on the max performance, which is um, you know, the deepest clean. Uh, you can also adjust, uh, you can um, choose one or two cleaning passes. So the Roomba, um, if, if it cleans an entire area and it's finished, you, that'll be one pass. But if you want to do an even uh, you know, more thorough clean, you can choose two pass. And what else do we have? Edge clean, uh, another feature. So again, if you're looking for a quick clean, the room will go out and clean, an entire, you know, clean the main floor space. Um, if you turn edge clean on, um, it'll actually go around to all of the edges of everywhere it's cleaned, uh, including chair legs and walls. Um, and make sure that it gets, just gets the edges of everything in the home. So we'll do a little demonstration here. Um, this is the 980. So he's just pressed clean here, and that has now initiated the cleaning mission. So what you're gonna hear is the motor switching from the hard floor to the carpet. And you can hear it ramped up its power there on the carpet. And that's our, our carpet boost functionality. Another thing you'll notice, as I mentioned earlier, it's, we have the new navigation system. So it's actually cleaning in a um, you know, more efficient pattern. So, you know, uh, almost in cornrows. And it'll do that for uh, most of the open spaces. But what's great, it also retains our, our legacy iAdapt navigation. So once it gets in and around chair legs and clutter, um, you know, that's where the Roomba really shines. And so this Roomba will clean up to two hours. And if it does um, need a battery charge, it'll return to its dock and charge for up to 90 minutes and go back out and clean and complete the job. So um, in the app, you'll, you, there's an indicator that tells you if the bin is full, that the robot will also alert you that the bin is full. 
Um, in the app, you can actually adjust the preference to continue cleaning uh, and finish the mission if the bin is full, or it'll stop until you've emptied the bin. It's your choice. So he's going to stop the mission here. He's going to hit end job and return to home base. Um, one other thing that's really interesting about the app um, is it actually comes with um, you know, some customer service and robot management features. So um, in our more tab here, you can see we've got um, care, help, um, and, uh, and history, which actually shows the history of your cleaning missions. It'll tell you uh, how much square footage was cleaned. Um, so some interesting stats on your, on, your, on your various cleaning missions, the duration. Um, if something happens to the robot, uh, if there's an error, um, you can actually go into the app and it'll show you uh, exactly what's wrong and steps to take to uh, solve the problem. And if you can't, there's, there's, you can connect to our customer service um, through the app as well. Okay, so I want to show you a little bit on how you would actually um, empty the bin um, and maintain the robot uh, as an owner. So if the bin was full, you, what you do is uh, come over here and press this button and on the back the cleaning bin comes off and right here is where all of the debris goes in and so you would just take this over to the trash can and empty it out um, here are, is your air filter so um, you know eventually you'd want to replace these probably every three months or so um, a new air filter and yeah so that's the bin on the underneath, you have your uh, extractors. These are our rubber extractors. Uh, what's great about these extractors, um, as you can see, there are no bristles. So um, that really comes in handy with hair and fur. Um, with these extractors, the hair just goes straight through to the bin. And if it does happen to get um, rolled up on the uh, extractor, it's pushed right to the edge and you can easily Pop this open, pop out the extractor, and just pull the hair right off. So it makes it super easy to maintain. Um, over here is our spinning side brush, of course, which helps get into the corners and edges of walls. Yeah. And the Roomba 980 is uh, $8.99. And the Roomba 960 starts at $6.99.